In a recent book I wrote with a colleague, Justin Barrett, called Thriving with Stone Age Minds, we talk about thriving um, as the challenge of bridging the gap between our human nature and who we are as embodied persons and our constantly changing systems, or we use the word niche because we're talking about evolutionary psychology around us. So one of the realities, one of the funky things we do as humans is that we like to fix things. But often when we have a problem in our environment, we fix it, we often cause a new problem. So we keep extending the gap between who we are as humans and the world around us. So a very practical example is we build the city of Los Angeles. We then have a problem of getting to farther places. So we create bigger roads called freeways, and then we need cars that then cause pollution. So which each problem we're solving, we're creating a new problem. So there's this constant gap between our abilities and capacities as a person and the world around us or our niche. We call this the nature niche gap. One of the take homes of the book is the three fundamental ways that humans most effectively bridge the gap between our fundamental psychology, between our human nature and the environment around us is, is our capacity to learn and to develop expertise. It is to regulate, to calm ourselves down, and to regulate also by setting goals and being purposeful. And the last is to relate. We are essentially pro-social and relational human beings. And when we relate, that optimizes our thriving and our ability to bridge gaps, whether it's around pollution or a congregational issue. So those three things, we learn, we regulate, and we relate. Those are three essential things we do as humans that can help us thrive.